here we go. So what I want to do is I want to go over what are complementary and supplementary angles. And complementary and supplementary, can, supplementary angles can really be described by looking at two different angles. The first angle is what we call a right angle. And the reason why we call it a right angle is because it can make up, um, has a right, well it's a right angle because it has this right angle here, which is equivalent to 90 degrees. The also, the other angle we call is a straight angle. And this is a straight angle because, well obviously it's straight, um, and the angle measurement is 180 degrees. So when we're talking about complementary supplementary angles, the true definition of common summer angles, all it was was two angles that add up to either give you a right angle, which would have been complementary, and a straight angle, which would be supplementary. So if you have two angles that however I create them from here to here, those two angles add up to give me 90, which we'll say are complementary angles. And then if I had two angles here that add up, to give me uh, 180 degrees, we call those supplementary angles. Now, this kind of seems to get confused when we start dealing with trig, because easy with 180 and 90 degrees, students usually kind of remember that. But in trig, we gotta remember what is the equivalent of 90 degrees in radians. And if you need to remember that the equivalent is pi over two. And the equivalent to 180 degrees in pi rad in radians is pi. So when we look at, at supplementary and um, complementary angles, there's a couple of equations that we want to write. What we know is, let's say here's an angle, and then here's our secondary angle. So I'll call one theta prime and one theta. All right, they're both two angles that they just add up. So what we can say is theta plus theta prime equals 90 degrees or pi over two. And here we have theta prime plus theta equals 180 degrees or pi. So if I'm giving you an angle and I say, hey, find the complementary, find that supplementary angle, what you need to understand is we can set up an equation for there by solving for theta prime, which we're gonna say is going to be our unknown angle. Let's say I give you an angle theta, and I say find the other angle that's complementary to that or supplementary to that angle. That means I wanna find the other angle that's gonna to add to it that's either going to make a complementary or a supplementary angle. So therefore, in our equation, we could say is theta prime equals 90 minus your angle, theta, or theta prime equals pi over two minus theta. And remember, it's all going to depend on if your angle is in radians, you'd use this one, or if your angle is in degrees, you'd use this equation. And very similar for supplementary angles, we can create two equations. Theta prime equals 180 minus theta, or theta prime equals um, pi minus theta. Now, there is one thing important to um, go through. If you have your initial angle theta is larger than 180 degrees or pi radians, you, there is no other supplementary angles. Remember, supplementary angles is the definition of two angles adding up to give you 180. So if you already have an angle that's larger than 180, there is no other supplementary angle to it. And the same thing goes for complementary. If you already have, if your angle theta is larger than 90 degrees, it does not have a complementary angle since it is already larger than 90. Um, we do not include negative angles um, in our definition of complementary and supplementary angles. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the definition of complementary and supplementary angles. Thanks.